Welcome to the new content tab on the custom product platform. So this is something we now give out free to any retailer that wants it. So all you do is when you log in, you will have the content tab. Uh, these other features are more advanced features of CPP, which are part of a paid subscription. So the content tab, as you can see highlighted in green at the top, gives you a range of products on the screen. Now the objective of this tab is that you can search and manipulate what we think is the world's largest virtual product warehouse for personalized and on-demand licensed content. And then when you found what you want, you can hit the feeds button down here to export a feed in a variety of different formats that will go straight into your web system. So if you're buying or wanting to source products for a website and you're into the dropship business model, then this is like a sweet shop. So let me show you how easy it is to use. It's interactive and it gets updated hundreds of times every day. And there are tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousand products already in it. So if you look on the right hand side, you can search by newest first, recently updated first or best sellers. So the idea behind that, if you're looking for newest first and if you come over here, you can see you've even got a search box which you can go in and say, you know, just give me the products in the last month or the products have only been updated in the last month or the new products in the last month. So by default, it's got newest first. So the next thing we might want to do is say, well, actually, I want the best sellers. So in the whole content warehouse at the moment, this, this is working on live sales data from hundreds of different sites and sources and marketplaces. So we obviously don't reveal what's selling what. We just take a cross section so we know these are the genuine best sellers. This is live and real time. At the moment, it's dominated by mugs, but we know other products are now up and coming. So we can have a look in our database at the moment. The top five selling products are the Man United mug, the Liverpool mug, the Arsenal mug, the Tottenham mug, the Chelsea mug, the Leeds mug, the Aston Villa mug. And we have to go down to about number nine at the moment in the top ten for an anniversary street sign. And obviously this depends on the sites using it. But there are probably around 500 sites feeding into this information at the moment. So it's a very good cross-section. Also marketplaces, all our people that use our system for Amazon also come into here. So that's how we sort on the left-hand side. Then we've got a few extra things. In a minute we're going to click on the brand search which will enable us then just to browse the system by category and we can still then use sort order, modified since and this is really useful which is sales percentage. So at the moment it's set to all products and because you can export a feed you could say something like I only want the top 10 products. Now obviously because we've got this sorted in product order it won't do it but when it creates the feed now it would only take the top 10 product, top 10% out of the whole database. Obviously, that would still be thousands because I'm on the whole database at the moment. But let's now do a bit of searching. So if we went on the brand box and tick the little magnifying glass, it gives us the different categories in which you can search by. So to give you an idea, if I clicked on Customize by Me, it would say, well, we've got Arbman Properties, Cartoon Network, Disney, Grumpy Cat, Marvel, etc. And obviously they break further down by category. So on Disney, we've got a huge wide range of different Disney assets on there. And more and more being added all the time. Or we could go all. So in this case, if we chose all... And because I've still got best sellers on, this is giving me all the Disney products. What are the top sellers? And I've got it down to the top 10% as well. So that's telling me that the Beauty and the Beast mug. This is historically after the last six months and it's live and interactive. So every sale that comes in on every day contributes to this stat. So we can see that the initial range lunch boxes are now beginning to sell really really well 
and the initial ranges are beginning to dominate on Disney because they're very popular at the moment. So the notebook, the cushion, cushions, water bottles, lunch boxes, notebooks. So you can see there interactively if you're searching for content for your website how easy it would be for you to source a category by using our category selection and then use the interactive tools to narrow down to create your feed. Now the beauty of this obviously if we click football clubs we'll have all the different football clubs listed. Hundreds of those too and if we were to click other things on there so Gift Star is our range of generic products. So it's worth exploring this. Hopefully this is like a sweet shop for buyers. Um, let me just explain quickly without clicking into all of them, the different categories. So we've covered Customised By Me Entertainment. Gift Star is our generic sports categories. So we've got a fun range of sports products, not club related, you know, like You've scored a century at Lords, or you've won the Wimbledon final, or you've set the world 100 metres record. All proven best selling products. Photo Gateway is our green screen offering, so that's when you take a photo of someone against a green screen background. We can now also offer that as an online product where we will strip backgrounds from photos automatically and build it into the price of the, the product. And this is probably one of the more interesting ones as well Content Gateway. So although this features licensed products that we've set up, we realise that we are not the entire centre of the universe here, and we've got hundreds of customers that do licensed content. So we've now expanded the platform so all of those customers can put their content on. That's why for you as a buyer, if you've set the system up to work with our format, you can find products from anyone. We've got our newspaper brand, which is all the different newspapers so if we went on there we've got the daily which is our own one the sun which is obviously a licensed content so we've got a full range of newspaper so if we were to click on the sun it then researches by the sun and if we wanted to look just to prove this works so newest first or recently updated so if you wanted to see have we added any new products so there we are the most recent product we've added is the sun oldest signing news folder and i've still got that on the top 10 so i could just expand that back out so if i wasn't just looking at the top 10 it shows obviously the data dynamically changes every time so I hope you'll agree, this platform gives you as a buyer, and they're, so they're the most recent products we've added, and because this is live, you'll see this change every day. So you can have added, updated, or bestsellers. You can search by brand. You can also just type in a word, you know, if you were after, I don't know, Winnie the Pooh products, just type in the word poo, which is a relatively unique thing, and you can see immediately a range of Winnie the Pooh products comes up on the screen. So you could then hit the feeds button if you just wanted that Winnie the Pooh selection, or you could have isolated it to top sellers or just changed since a certain date. We've even got this new option now available for self-fulfillment. So if you have your own production facility, there are certain designs we can make available for you for self-fulfillment. So if I then hit the feeds button, we have an Amazon feed or a retailer feed. Uh, what we do here now is we manage everything automatically for you, um, including the order fulfillment process. So that's why we ask you to select yourself. So when you get your account set up, we'll set you up as a retailer on the system. You can choose a currency you want the prices converted into if you're selling in other markets. And you can choose a format, so JSON, XML or CSV. CSV is the standard spreadsheet format. JSON and XML are a bit more powerful. So if you have a web developer and you use our 
standard formats, it means millions of products could be available for you to import at any time. You could just drop them in a folder and they would populate your website. So this is why we think this is such a powerful tool. But the reason we ask you to name yourself as a retailer, once you've done this, it will send an email to the supplier of any product you've chosen in your feed, plus set up all the fulfillment details needed in our system. So it really is automated. Um, then if you, you will have all the appropriate code numbers in the feed that we create, if you don't deal with a supplier, the system will send them an email saying the following retailer wants to deal with you. And if you put the products, which you wouldn't necessarily recommend, but if you did put the products on your website before you'd set up a trade account, the order would come in as on hold for that supplier. So if you're a supplier, you've always got the ability to, to at least make sure you're happy to trade with the reseller. Although we don't want to slow the process down, which is why we let people get feeds to try those out but hopefully now you can see how powerful this would be if you're looking to source content for your website um, we'll do other presentations for you that explain how easy it is to automatically place orders with you so thank you for listening um, if you are a supplier watching this presentation and you want to get your products in our content gateway tab please do give us a call or get in touch via custom-gateway.com as we really, really do want to add anybody's products that's set up to the right standards. Thank you for listening.